basically the goal of what we are doing when we paint is to take the essence of a scene, to take this thing about the scene that excites you and be able to put it on paper. Well, one of my favorite things to paint is light. I want to capture that glowing feeling of warm light. If that's something that you're interested in doing, then this video today is for you. So let's get into it. Let's learn how to paint glowing light in your scenes. Let's take a look. I have a free gift for you. Watercolor is not a very forgiving medium. It's hard to correct. So having a plan from the beginning is crucial. That's why I created this free video lesson, Seven Secrets of Fresh Powerful Painting. I give you seven powerful tips that will help you plan your painting, mindfully paint your scene, and most importantly, know when you are done and avoid overworking. Many students have already watched this video lesson and are seeing great results, and I know that it can help you out as well. All you have to do is follow the link in the description down below, and you can start painting more fresh and powerful paintings. All right, back to the video. This is a recent painting of mine. I liked this subject matter. It's an old farm kind of on the edge of town. So you have some older buildings here and then you kind of see the edge of the town here. I particularly liked how the light was hitting these trees and I wanted the shadows and the light to kind of tell the story of the atmosphere of this day. I really wanted the light in this painting to glow and that's what we're going to talk about today, how to get the light to really glow in your painting. The first thing that you want to remember is to put some of your warmest colors in the painting in your first wash. So if you're familiar with my painting style, it's usually done in three phases. Step one is to paint the lightest values of the scene. Step two is to paint the large middle value shape. And then finally, I paint the darks and the details of the scene. In my first wash, I'm typically painting the sky and the lightest colors of the rest of the scene. And so within this first wash, I want to think about the light of the scene and the warmth of this scene. So I'm including my brightest, warmest colors in this first wash. So you'll see here in this grass where the light is hitting the most, I'm placing my brightest, warmest greens and letting some of these warm colors fuzz together within this first wash. I'm also placing a few lighter, warmer greens in the sky. And that light green color is going to portray the light shining on the leaves within these trees. So step one, think about your warmest colors and incorporate them within your first wash of the painting. And the next thing I wanna do is, I wanna focus my warmth and saturation in the middle area of the painting. So I want the most attention in the scene to be not in the foreground, not in the sky, I want it to be right along here. So my warmest colors, my most saturated areas, are right along here in the middle ground. Another key to get the light to glow in your painting is to not include too much detail in the shadows. I want you to notice the large shape of this painting. The shadow goes right into the building, connects to the trees, moves right into the darker areas here. I'm painting around these lights. But if you'll notice, I don't have a lot of detail in these shadow areas. I'm really thinking about the shape instead of the detail. And I'm letting these shapes merge together and painting them while they're wet. Because I don't want a lot of detail in the shadows, I wanna keep those little bits of detail for the light areas. That little bit of light and detail really draws my eye right here. Now, if I'm going in here and worrying too much about windows and other branches that are in the shadow areas of the painting, I'm gonna lose that freshness, that glow that this painting has because it's gonna overwork those areas and the scene's gonna become overly complicated. By simplifying the shadow areas of your scene, you can keep the focus in the light areas of your painting. 
And my final point to really making the light glow in your scene is to include some contrast in cool colors. So we know that we have some blue in the sky and that's a nice contrast against some of our warmer colors, but also in these shadow areas, including some coolness, some cooler colors to contrast with the warmth of the scene can really make that light stand out and give you that nice glowing feeling that you're going after in your painting. So keep these things in mind the next time you paint a scene where you really want the light to glow. Paint your warmest colors in your first wash. Let them flow and blend together. Focus your warmest areas in the middle of the painting where you want the most attention to be. Add less details in the shadows to keep the focus on the light areas of your painting. And finally, have some cooler areas within your painting that can contrast with the warm colors. If you can keep these ideas in mind, you can really capture the nice glowing light of a scene. And before you go, don't forget I have a free video lesson for you. Seven Secrets of Fresh Powerful Painting. I give you seven powerful tips that will help you plan your painting, mindfully paint your scene, and most importantly, know when you are done and avoid overworking. Many students have already watched this video lesson and are seeing great results, and I know that it can help you out as well. All you have to do is follow the link in the description down below, and you can start painting more fresh and powerful paintings. Well, thank you once again for spending time with me here today. I know that time is the most valuable thing that we have. Our, our greatest asset is time. As always, if there's a subject that you are struggling with, if there's something you'd like to learn more about in watercolor, leave that in a comment below. I love to hear from you guys. So keep working, keep practicing and moving forward, and I will see you here next time.